Hi, this is a demo of OKL Voice Calorie Counter version 3.01. It's been a while since I've done a demo, so I figured I'd do one with the updated features. Uh, one of the first things you want to do when you're starting out on the new on the calorie counter is move it down to the system tray. So just drag it down. That way you can access it quickly during the day because you're going to need to use it probably 10 to 20 times a day if you're going to log all your food. So, so what you want to do is launch it. And then when you first launch it, it asks you whether you want to load a sample calorie database. Now this database, um, I'm going to load it. It's just some uh, values I've accumulated from uh, US Department of Agriculture, um, some of my own data I collected uh, from labels and things. So it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's not by serving size, by typically one serving size. So it's not perfect. So you might want to, you know, vet some of this stuff and, and uh, work on it. To, to, to double check it, some of it, but it might give you a start anyway, get started. So I'll put it in database and then we're in the main screen. And then what you want to do is set your calorie uh, limit for the day. Um, if you don't know what it is, you can use this um, magnifying glass up here um, to uh, use some of the web features, uh, like look at basal expenditure. Um, that's a Cornell site. You can look and there's some other things on here too. You can check out. Um, but anyway, which if you know if you know what your calories or points, if you're using Weight Watchers or whatever, you just click on this questions up here and set your goal. So I'll set mine at say 1700, and then you're ready to go. I think. Let's see. Um, so now what we can do is uh, we'll add some food. So we'll just add in. Oh, my favorite food. We'll add in a banana. Banana. And there we go, there's the calories. Uh, and you can also all do alternate calories. You can also use custom calories if you want by hitting the custom button. And you can key in, you know, custom amounts. Um, oh, but cancel, I accidentally hit cancel here. Let me do that again. Banana. And what that'll do, but you can just confirm the 105 if that's, if, you know, if that's gonna keep that the same. Um, another thing you can do, which is really handy, is you can mark your fruits and veggies just by tapping on the calorie column of the uh, of the food, and that way you can make sure you get at least five to seven servings of fruits and veggies every day, which I'm finding is extremely important at eating a healthy diet. Um, you know, in addition to you know, even though low carb is important too, but you know, if you eat decent veg, fruits and veggies, uh, it really helps your really helps uh, your your diet quite a bit. Help you know, it's a lot of fiber and everything, vitamins in your diet, so. So that's that, and you can also now you can also use the keyboard instead of the microphone, and uh, you can type in uh, for matching um, things like I'll try oh, let's see hamburger maybe or hard boiled like looks good. So you just you just need to hit the first couple characters until it finds a match, or if you want to add a brand new item that's not even in the list, um, you type it out and then hit the period on the on the keyboard. And that will add it in as a brand new item into the database. So I'll just add hard boiled egg. It's in there already. Now it says 75 and say, well, say I don't eat a big one. I'll just eat a 50 calorie size hard boiled egg. So that's 50. So it adds it in. So that's pretty neat. Now say, for instance, you don't know the calories for something. Uh, what you can do is say, uh, let's find something. Oh, maybe filet mignon or something. That might be in our database, but we'll see. Filet mignon. What you can do, that's a new item, so we're going to search for the calories or hit the search button. What you can do with this on the web search screen is you can Bing it or DuckDuckGo it. And it just does a simple um, web search. I'm going to use Chrome to do that. And it's just it just does a query onto the Bing's or DuckDuckGo database. And see, here we go, Phil Amin on 278.2. So now I can back out and put, um, let's just say 300, or say 280 maybe, 280. So, and again, you can adjust sizes. You're gonna have to get a, it, it really helps to have a feel for calories as it is, you know, if you're gonna use this for a while. And it's usually a good idea to have that anyway, so. But I, I approximate things quite a bit. Usually I approximate things to nearest 50 calories for most things. Um, I mean, most things less than 50 calories, I, I don't really eat that much of, so. Um, other than things that are like, you know, diet pop or something like that. So anyway, so that adds that in. Um, so now we've got, our things and there's some other nice features too you can remove an item if you want I'll take that filling mignon off and uh, you can also have this auto quit off feature now if you turn that on what the app is going to do is it's automatically going to exit out after I think about 10 seconds I think it's 10 seconds something like that see so it exited out I didn't tap the screen so now I'll go back in 
and that's kind of handy if you're just browsing quickly and you just want to add foods in and just you know put things in and exit out so I'll turn that off for now and this other neat feature is this listen on start don't listen on start so if you put on listen on start what I'll do is I'll exit out oh and by the way you can exit out just by tapping on the right hand side of the table which is a really quick way to exit out so now when I launch it it's going to listen so I'll add something else say strawberries okay strawberries so that's in our database so I'm going to put that on and I'm going to mark that's a new food in our fruits and veggies so I'm going to mark that as a fruit and veggie and uh, so that's it so that's listen on start so and you can also combine that with auto quit off which kind of helps you add foods in pretty quickly uh, you know when you're just listening now another important feature I'm going to add here is uh, bulk entry which works fairly well but sometimes it, it confuses Google speech but I'll show you how to add multiple things at once so say we're going to add um, say hamburger and french fries so the keyword is plus uh, when you use the word plus it'll add multiple items so let's so say hamburger plus french fries now what it's going to do is split that up so it knows hamburgers that's approximate hamburger that might be a little low for hamburger estimate but like it says kind of estimate and french fries that's for small fries that might be accurate but you know you may have to tweak some of these settings um, for your own needs so and what you commonly eat so if you get a large fry it's going to be a lot more than that so anyway you just use the plus and all man parses it up and splits it up so there we go and uh, it shows up here uh, your, the green is 950 is your remaining calories in your goal and 750 is how much you've eaten so far today 1700 is your goal for the day total it's a 0, 0.0 hours well, what that's going to do is that's going to show the number of hours that have passed since you last eaten or last ate excuse me and um uh, that when it's you know so, some people recommend waiting like four hours between meals so that's a good way to time it um, it's only gonna the, the lapse time is only gonna go when you eat something greater than zero calories um, I think that's the way it is I'm not sure oh another thing you can do too is kind of neat is you can add um, exercises into as negative calories so say we do walking walking so if you have a pedometer or Fitbit or whatever that um, has a uh, uh, a, a, a calorie meter on it. You can put those in and give yourself some credit for calories. So there we go, negative 50 calories. And uh, let's see, so we get that. And then um, what you can do too is up here and see these arrows uh, where it says today. You can scroll back to previous days and go forward to forward days if you want to put in food for tomorrow morning, like plan a breakfast ahead or something. Um, or if you make a mistake and forgot to enter in something in the previous day. Um, this little pencil here, I'm going to click on that, and this is a little reminder thing uh, you can put on to remind yourself what you want to work on, like say low sodium foods, that's very important, and uh, not that a hamburger and french fries are low sodium foods, but <laughs> but you want to stick to you know things, good things, um, which you can do too up here is this weight, weight log up here, there's a little scale up here, you can log your weight, um, so I'll say 202. And it'll show a graph. It, there's not enough points to graph it right now. I'll show you my graph uh, sometime in the future. You can see, actually, you can see the graph on the uh, on the Google Play Store. There's a couple graphs on there. So, and then um, there's some other graphs here too. You can get into later. Um, it'll show you your um, uh, weight, get daily calories, weekly items, monthly items. Um, the monthly is actually 30 days. It's not exactly months, but it's 30 day increments. So food frequency, um, some of the neat graphs you can look at. Uh, there's a little food diary, uh, excuse me, uh, note diary for just typing in notes, um, you know, typing in notes about your log, you know, your day or whatever's going on or stress or anything. Um, there's a help function up here that just gives a rough, a rough description of the commands, the voice commands. Uh, there's some voice commands you can use with the microphone to simplify things if you want to. Uh, there's a speaker here that when you hit it, uh, it takes a while to initialize on some phones. My phone takes a while to initialize, but it just announces uh, the number of calories left. Um, so we can turn that off. Actually, it's kind of annoying sometimes. Um, and up here, there's some other features here. You can uh, do a history if you want to just get a, a historical um, a summary with the number of frequency of foods and stuff. What's your most popular foods, etc. And this clear good foods is good too. Sometimes you might accidentally mark fruit or veggie and you want to take it off, so you can just clear it and take it off and you can also add it back in just by tagging it on the list 
and uh, let's see here. Now these, uh, there's also some things you can do here, edit, um, where you can edit the lookup database and manually change things. Um, what you do, typically you just put a colon between the calories and the food. Uh, there's a little editor here you can use with the keyboard and set that up. Uh, you can erase the lookup database, you can import, that's what we did initially, is import it. Um, you can edit your weight DB, um, so you can change your weight log. Um, you can edit the archive, actually, you can actually hands-on edit. You gotta be a little careful editing the archive, though, I think. I'm not sure I have this totally um, uh, bug-proof, you know, if you make a false character. But if, you, if there's something really bad you want to fix up, um, that'll probably work for you. Then we can cancel out there. And uh, some analysis things you can get into when you have more a lot of data. Um, there's some things that list your um, uh, calories that you eat on most days. Uh, I'll probably make a video about that in the future um, so you can see how those work. And there's a lot of stuff on here, quite a bit of stuff. Um, but I've tried to make it pretty comprehensive. I, I use it for myself. And um, of course, you can also exit up here. There's a X up here for exiting. And that gets you out. So, so give it a try and let me know if it works for you. If you got bugs, anything. I'm still working on getting bugs out of it, as I probably will forever. <laughs> But it's coming along slowly, and um, you know I've had good success with it so far. Um, I'm, I'm feeling much better, and uh, and things are, are progressing nicely. So please, um, please give us uh, feedback on our Google Play Store page. Uh, if there's any other features you would like, uh, I, I would like to make the language a little more natural, uh, if possible. Um, you know, like if you could say I ate this and just, you know, it's just I ate a donut or whatever and, you know, kind of parse that a little bit. That's pretty intensive uh, computing, so um, I think I'll leave that to the experts to figure out. But there's pretty neat, some pretty neat innovations we have here. You know, it's just click on the screen to exit. Um, you know, the auto quit mode just automatically quits out. Um, the kind of quick quick keyboard entry system, you know, just banana and one, one key entry systems. And we have this in innovative system with quick calories here where you can just tap. Oh, another thing I was going to show you too with the uh, calories is you can you can uh, quickly change your quick list here too. Uh, if you do edit, you can change the default quick list if you want to add more quick list uh, characters here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we put a lot of thought into this and uh, put a lot of work into this. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm hopefully going to keep this free. And open source as long as possible, um, you know, until something somebody makes something better, and see, so just auto exit out for me. So, but you can turn that off, and uh, you know, let me know what you think of it, and let me know if you got any ideas for making it better. Okay, thank you very much.